Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at order of operations. We have a question here, and it is 10 subtract 7 times 2 plus 6. And I'm asking you to come up with an answer to it. And I'm giving you some, some options here. What answer do you get? Is it 11, 1, 2, or a different answer? What do you come up with? Pause the video now and come up with an answer. So pause the video now. Okay, you're back. So, which answer did you get? Well, interestingly enough, the right answer is this one. And I'm willing to bet not many people out there in video land got that right. In fact, in my studio audience, no one got it right. Except me. But that's because I've taken grade 10 math and I know the answer. And now you will too. So, the trick to this is we have to do order of operations, which is brackets exponents, division and multiplication, in the order that they occur left to right. So they're going to occur left to right in the equation. And when I say left to right, I mean starting at the left hand side and moving to the right hand side of the equation, so moving in that direction. And then we have addition and subtraction in the order from left to right. So, in order to ensure that we all get the same results, no matter where you are, we use the order of operation is called bed math. And that's what it stands for. Brackets, exponents, division and multiplication, addition and subtraction. So, using that, how would you do this question? Well, you have to start with the multiplication. So that's actually 10 subtract 14 plus 6, which is negative 4 plus 6 is 2, which gives us our answer of 2. And you only get the right answer if you use the order of operations. So, Let's take a look at this question. What do we do first? Now, first off, we better clarify, this is a division sign, okay? So this is division. That is divided by 12. So let me make it a little bit bigger. So the first thing we would do is we would take a look at what's inside the brackets. So we need to do 5 plus 6. So that's going to be, that's a negative here. So that's going to be negative 3 plus 4, 11 to the 3, minus 6 times 8 divided by 12. The next step is to do the power, or we sometimes call it the exponent. So that's 11 times 11 times 11. That's 11 to the 3. That's 11 times 11 times 11. I use this button on my calculator. It's my my exponent or my power button. So I hit 11, I hit that button, I hit 3 and equals. So we come up with negative 3 plus 4, 1, 3, 3, 1, minus 6 times 8 divided by 12. The next thing I think we'll do is this multiplication. So times that by 4, and we're going to get minus 3 plus 5, 3, 2, 4, minus 6 times 8 divided by 12. The next thing... Might as well do that multiplication. That's negative 6 times 8, minus 3, plus 5, 3, 2, 4, minus 48, I think. 8 times 6, yep, divided by 12. Do this division. That's going to be 4, so now it's negative 3, plus 5, 3, 2, 4, minus 4. And finally, put all that together. So I'm doing a negative 3, so I use my negative sign on my calculator. Show you that again. 3 negative plus 5,324 equals, take away 4 more, and we get a final answer of 5,317. So what did we do first? We started off with inside the brackets. That's what we always start off with. Then we looked at the exponents, also called the powers. And then we did multiplication. We did multiplication. Then we did division. 
And notice those were all in the order that they occurred left to right, so moving across the equation. And then we just did addition and subtraction. And that was it. That was how we did that question. Let's take a look at a few more examples. So the first one I'm going to do on this one is inside the brackets. 16 divided by 8 times negative 1. Now negative 1 to the 5. Let's be clear on what that means. That's negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. Two where it's a positive, another one's a negative, another one's a positive, another one's a negative. So my answer is going to be negative 1. In the order that occurs, left to right means I do 16 divided by 8, which is 2. I multiply by negative 1, and I get a final answer of negative 2. Example over here, 12 plus 4 minus 9, because 9 times 1 is what we do first. Put your equal sign. 16 minus 9 is 7. Flip over. So we've got a number of examples for you to do here. Okay, C, D, sorry, let me zoom out a little bit. You're going to do C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. You're going to use photo math to check your steps, make sure you're doing it right. Over here, you're going to do order of operations, this entire page. Flip over. You have complete solutions to each question on the back. Okay, guys, get going on that. Now, here's the deal. Do your own work and make sure you learn from it. Check each one as you go and make sure you understand. I don't care if you get all of this done. What I care about is when I give you a quiz, you can get these questions right again. So practice until you can do them. Okay, guys, we'll see you soon.